Hello there. So I've decided to do a video once a week um, just, <laughs> just about my perspective, my opinions on different things that I see um, on TikToks, YouTube, things like that, um, that I think have a lot of misinformation surrounding them, um, or just I want to share my opinion. Uh, I'll be uploading a new video every Sunday from this point onwards, um, as well as doing all my other uh, content, such as unviral videos, um, uh, the depression updates on Saturdays, and uh, all the shorts and whatnot. So in this episode, I wanted to talk about um, the misbeliefs and misconceptions of 5G networks. <laughs> So I have worked, um, so I used to be uh, an electrician. Um, I had a lot of passion in that line of work, so I would work with everything. Um, I became an automated gates engineer, um, uh, any kind of data engineer, basically, um, networking engineer, worked with everything, really. If I had electric electricity going to it, I'd work with it. Um, so obviously, with that, you learn to understand these systems and how they work. Um, Good stuff, eh? So, with 5G and the big deal, and I just can't get my head around why people are making such a big deal out of this. Um, so, 5G, the way it works is okay. Let's let's go with how these wireless networks work in general. Okay, the way they work is they use microwave radiation, which is the same as what you get in a microwave that heats your food. So they do, if you concentrate that microwave radiation into a very, very, very high dose, then it will cook you or cook things, which is how a microwave works. It just blasts whatever's in there. With microwave radiation, it excites all of the atoms and uh, it, because they run together, rub together, they create fiction, they, um, they, they warm up and, and that's basically how it works. So networks, wireless networks, they work the, 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 the same way. They, they, um, they tr transport data using microwave radiations through the air and um, that's basically how they work. That's it. It's not as complex as it sounds. Um, so I don't see why people have such a problem with 5G networks. The only thing that that means when, they, when a provider says that they're upgrading from 1G to 2G, 2G to 3G, 3 to 3G to 4G, 4G to 5G, and eventually that will become 6G, no doubt. Um, all they're doing is, is they're basically saying, right, we found a way, we've developed technology that will transport the same amount of data, uh, sorry, more data, whilst giving the same amount of microwave radiation. So I'm just going to say that again to clarify. They've managed to transport this, uh, more data using the same amount of microwave radiation. Yeah? So... Currently, 5G doesn't give off any more radiation or less radiation than what 1G or 2G or 3G or 4G would. It's that's that's the improvement of technology because we in the UK anyway, we have a maximum level of microwave radiation that a person can withstand without it hurting them. And obviously there has to be a time limit on that as well. And so you know, it's like when people say don't have phone calls any longer than X amount of time because it will fry your brain. It's yeah, that is, it is true um, to an extent. It's not because it's not that much concentrated radiation. It is just radiation that is passing next to your head. Um, by the way, Bluetooth works exactly the same way. So uh, if you're using a Bluetooth headset, exactly the same thing. Um, with that, though, because that's not only uh, transmitting um, audio data, <clears throat> much less radiation is needed for that. So when you have an earbud in, it's, you are getting microwave radiation um, up to your ears from your phone, but it's much, 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 much lower. It's so low, it genuinely couldn't affect you. It's, it's ridiculous. So when you get these 5G towers that are put, put, being put up in your local area, Again, what the um, networks and whatnot are saying 
and what the government is agreeing to as well is saying that we can transport more data now with that same amount of microwave radiation and it's not going to affect you at all okay think of it think of it this way do you okay do you remember those um do you remember those uh phone covers that you used to get and when you had a call they would flash they had leds in them and they would flash when you got a phone call and so um, I can remember having one myself, <clears throat> and when I used to get a phone call, you actually knew that you was getting a phone call before the phone would start ringing because the LEDs would detect the microwave radiation, and that would activate the LEDs. Um, but your phone would take, say, five seconds to say, right, I've got a phone call coming through, blah, 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 and then actually ring. Um, now, the reason that you don't get those covers anymore, the reason that no one uses those covers anymore, it's not a coincidence. The reason that no one knows, uses those covers anymore is because back then, phones didn't have data transferring, okay? That it would only need to make a, a large connection or probably then would have been a 2G connection. Um, the only reason that that would have need, needed to make that stronger connection would have been to receive a phone call. It's transmitting data down to, it's transmitting audio down to your phone that you're gonna pick up and listen to and respond. Um, the reason that you don't get those um, phone covers anymore is because your phone now, it uses 5G, exactly the same amount of microwave radiation, but it's constant, okay? So that constant microwave radiation coming down to your phone that would just, those LED covers, they would just constantly be going off because you're, you're just using that data all the time, okay? Um, it's no worse for you because like I said, that it's, we're basically improving technology. We can transmit more using the same amount of data. That's all that means, okay? So when you get people that are burning 5G towers that are saying, um, you know, I refuse to have Wi-Fi in my house um, because uh, because of the microwave radiation. People that uh, say about, um, you know, towers close by uh, mutating animals and things like that. Absolute nonsense. Complete and utter nonsense. Um, because we it, we've had this technology for years, literally from the existence of um, 1G mobile phones, um, which is for basically from my generation. I can remember having a, <clears throat> a, a an early Motorola phone um, that was just cool. So that was before even games existed on phones. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically the, the long and short of it. Um, if, if you're one of those people that says that 5G is affecting the environment, affecting people, melting people's brains, you're wearing a tinfoil hat, you're, I don't know, refusing to have uh, Wi-Fi or anything in your house, um, you're just doing yourself out of having Wi-Fi. It makes no difference whatsoever. Um, but again, because we have laws in place that will say, okay, you can go up to this amount of radiation um, that, you, that a human body can um, be exposed to without being affected, but you can't go over that. And all it means when they upgrade these towers is that they've managed to transmit more data on that same amount of radiation. That's it. That's all that means. Okay. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if, if, if anyone says to you, um, uh, I don't know, if, if somebody says to you, don't, don't use a mobile phone, don't, you, don't live near a 5G tower, don't live at, near anything like that, it's it's nonsense just it is complete nonsense um it's but particularly in the uk um we do have very well regulated um uh standards and whatnot and that, that's the same with food standards and things like that we um the, the uk government will take a stance where it's not safe until it's proven safe Whereas a lot of other countries, Australia, America, um, some parts of Europe, they'll say it's safe until it's not proven safe. So complete opposite there. In the UK, it's not safe until it's proven safe. Majority of, well, no, sorry, minority, minority of other countries, it's safe until it's proven unsafe. 
Okay, if you go, if you went into McDonald's in the UK and had a look at the um, ingredients of uh, French fries, for example, you'll see that there's not a lot of additives in those French fries in in the UK McDonald's. If you went to American uh, McDonald's and uh, have a look at theirs, hell of a lot more additives, hell of a lot more, hell of a lot more chemicals and everything. And it's it's the exact same reason um, because the Americans are seem to be more blasé with these rules and regulations, and they're happy to say, well, until somebody dies for it from it, um, we're going to keep do, we're going to keep putting these chemicals and whatnot, and we're going to still um, blast um, radiation at much higher radiation level <clears throat> because until it's proven unsafe, it's safe. Um, and again, in England, it's the opposite. Um, we have those rules and regulations in place um, to say unless uh, unless it's proven to be safe, you're not doing it. And, and that's why you do have some countries in the world that have 6G. I think there are a couple of countries in the world that even have 7G now. Um, and, you know, that's your, your opinion on that, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. But that's the law. That is the rules. Um, in the UK anyway, unless you... Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. Uh, unless anything happens where if somebody died from 5G contamination, which no one ever has, um, or unless there's any long-term um, defects that are found because of specifically because of 5G, the, you know, it's it's absolutely fine. Um, you, know, you know, and again, so you, th there are silly little tests that you can do yourself, simple tests that you can do yourself. One of those ways is to get one of those, if you've still got one in your drawer, grab one of those little... Um, phone covers that the people used to have on their phones that had the little LEDs in it and that would light up when you were receiving a text message or a phone call. Um, Cause that's all it is. It's just a, a microwave radiation detector in that phone case. When it detects microwave radiation, it makes the LEDs flash. The only reason that people don't use them nowadays is because we have a lot more data transfer, transfer, but the radiation levels that that is um, emitting and receiving is the same, okay? Uh, another way you can test this, um, I've forgotten my trailer thought there. There is another way. <laughs> and, okay, another way that you can you can test this is, um, I'll tell you what, just leave your phone in one specific place in your body, strap it to your leg or something throughout the day. If you, if you feel that part of your body warm up, then you're being affected by your microwave radiation that your phone is emitting and receiving. If you don't feel it warm up, you're fine. <laughs> so that's basically, I just wanted to clear that up, okay? That's how 5G works. That's um, that's the rules and regulations in England, at least. I'm sure America and Australia, I know for a fact that Australia has a much higher tolerance of, um, of the, the 5G radiation. Um, but I believe at the moment that's only in rural areas, um, purely because the countryside in, in Australia, obviously much more vast than, than what it is in England or, or other places. And so you need that stronger radiation, you need that stronger signal to go more, uh, distance. And that's it. It's still all safe. It's still completely fine. If you've got a problem with 5G, then you need to have a problem with 4G, 3G, 2G, and, and, and a G um, in itself, okay? Because they all emit the same amount of radiation. It's just 5G can transmit more data using that same amount of radiation than 4G, and 3G, and 2G, and 1G. That's how it works. That's it. And uh, another thing that I've seen actually is these videos where um, <coughs> some people will get like um, a bit of corn and, and put it in, in between like five phones and then they'll ring those five, five phones and eventually the, the, the corn pops and becomes popcorn. It's a lie. <laughs> And the re again, the reason it, that it's a lie is because um, you would need to concentrate. For one, you would need to concentrate all of that um, microwave radiation from each of those phones into that corn. You'd have to 
really magnify it and harness it and lock that corn into a container that will just keep bouncing those microwave radiations in and out of it, okay? How a microwave works. Um, and another reason for that is even with five phones, you wouldn't get enough microwave radiation from that to, to actually pop a corn and create popcorn. It wouldn't happen, it wouldn't work. Try it for yourself, go ahead, try it for yourself. Um, so there's three three ways of testing it for yourself. Uh, the popcorn thing, the strapping the phone to your leg or your arm or wherever throughout the day for a week if you want and just seeing if it raises your body temperature at all. It's not going to, but feel free to test. And uh, lastly, grab one of those old cases that you used to have your old phones in and um, just hold it near your phone. That's it. I see, actually, I've seen quite a few videos as well of people that are using microwave radiation detectors um, and they're putting them near their microwave and uh, and saying, oh my God, you know, all this radiation leaking out of the microwave, it's, it's disgusting, it's cooking me when I go near the, the microwave. Again, <laughs> the microwave itself, it, it has containment within it that will house and hold in all of that microwave radiation. There is always going to be a leak there is always going to be a leak of uh, a percentage of of that radiation. Okay, um, it's the same with anything. Any any um, electricity, it's not one hundred percent efficient. In fact, I think uh, uh, electricity that we use in lights and to power your house, I believe that's only ten percent um, efficient. When you harness ten percent of that energy that's created, um, so yeah, that's basically how 5g works um obviously i'm going to annoy a lot of people by talking about this but uh once again um please if you do want to comment on this video and your beliefs on uh 5g then uh feel free to leave comments down below um and chat amongst yourselves if you want to uh one thing i always say though keep it sensible keep it clean you know don't be slating each other slagging each other off it's just not worth the time and effort seriously unless you've got something produ productive to say don't bother but anyway that's how 5g works um it's safe it's cool it's good everyone loves it go 5g uh, and by the way in the future we're going to have 6g and then 7g and then 8g yeah yes <laughs>